Hey guys, Wiggins here, and welcome back to our brand new series. We just finished Dangerous Fellows, and now we're on to Red and White Cinderella 1. There are three games, plus two bonus games, plus another one, which is brand new. Um, there's Red, White, Cinderella. That's the first one. Red, White, Cinderella 2. Then Red, White, Cinderella 2.5. Then there's Red, White, Cinderella 3. And there's also a one that I'm not going to but that's the map work. And then there's another one, but I'm also not going to do that one. This series would be way too long if I did every single one. But I'm going to be doing the main games plus the 2.5 because it's important for the storyline. The other one, not so much. And then there's like a new game that they came out. It's not called Red and White Cinderella, but it's like affiliated with it. But let's get into it. So I don't remember exactly what happened last time, because um, I've been playing this game for about a month. I loved it. I'm sad that it's over. It was such a great game. But. Yeah, I finished the game completely, so I'm going to find another game. Hopefully by the time I'm done this episode, like this one, the Red and White Cinderella 1, that's what's out. Um, or we'll start with 2, which is a longer series because it's more episodes, plus it's like, what's it called? longer episodes. Anyways, let's get into it. We've looked at um, Claude's face long enough. I think I can learn more about his kingdom if I go with him. Let's go home together. Toward those still in doubt, I approached Prince Claude. Forgive me, this might be sound a bit of a rude, but I may I but I have a request. It's my first time going out. There are so many oops. Sorry. I think I remember what happened last. We fell into the river somehow because we fell on a, a lift. Anyways. First time, forgive me, sounds rude. It's my first time going out. There are so many things I'd like to know. Would you please head back together? I'd be so happy if you could introduce me to the kingdom. I waited nervously for Claude's response. be very happy to. <laughs> a long journey to the capital would be boring if we just if we just go alone. Claude invited me into his car. Fancy car, wow. The car took us past the gates of his summer house. As soon as we passed the gate, I just realized that the whole street was full of red and white banners. Maybe Claude knows something about those banners. Of course he does, they're his banners. <laughs> I kept staring at those banners. 
What's so interesting about those banners? I answered him with a smile. Oh, you're curious? Sorry, I forgot that you've been shutting yourself inside. What? You've been shutting yourself off from the world until yesterday. Those banners are a sign that the king's selection has begun. Plot seemed reluctant to continue his explanation. Does that mean the red one belongs to the other prince? You and Lee are not in good terms, are you? Claude adverted the glaze outside of the car. Is is it that obvious? Yeah. It really is. We have different opinions. The silly thing keeps zooming in, sorry. missed that again. Sorry. After that, I felt like he was avoiding conversations about Lee. If I insist, I would only make the mood worsen. Never mind, it's their problem. After that, Claude started, started telling me a lot about the kingdom. I had my attention on all the villages we were passing by. They are so beautiful. Claude told me stories about those villages. Claude seemed to love his people a lot. Our ride continued, heading towards the capital. The further we went, the stronger the smell of the sea. I opened the door a little bit to get the breeze in. There's something I always look forward to every time we head back to the capital. As we reached the hill rows of buildings surrounded by stone walls stretched as far as the eye could see, the air was divided by winding roads. The city is beautiful, of course, it's time the ships... We almost reached the capital. Ships were docked among the essentials and fall directly to the ocean. It sounds like a beautiful castle. The kind of view used to exist only in my imagination. I always like. Is it always like this around? Yes, especially in the periods following a harvest like this. You'll see once we've passed the capital gate. I was busy watching around the armored guards that we ran into. Their passionate march was louder than the horse steps. Look over there. I turned my head to the direction Claude was pointing at. Whoa! the waves from here. Claude laughed at me, but I didn't care. It's nice to see the outside world sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. That it is. Separate men stood guard at both sides of the gate. Above their heads were right and right, blah, blah. red and white banners were waving in the ocean breeze. So the garlic and the white banner, it was... 
I'm not even gonna pretend, pretend you wouldn't know how to pronounce that. And the other one is very pretty design on it. I do like that. There's more of a tail. What do you think? Huh? What? Getting too deep in awe, I forgot Claude was there with me. I was just asking, did you enjoy your first journey? Of course. I was afraid you'd be bored. Not at all. Very pretty. The further we went, the more evident the hustle and bustle of the kingdom became. I started, stared at those fancy houses, bricks, doors, rows of inns, and merchant stalls. People gave us, gave us way in unison and bowed as soon as we passed by. Even at this hour, the trade is going on. A woman could be seen with her basket as they were busy choosing groceries. This is the busiest part of the capital. It's the center of econom economies, activities in the day. Up there, we have the holy temple of the priest. priests. Claude pointed at the straight, the pointed at the straight trail going uphill. As we passed the market, Claude's words just fell on deaf ears. I remember those banners. No, it's play. If I was still alive, I would have been watching Noah's performance right now. What are you thinking about this time, Republicans? Uh, I'm sorry, it was obvious? For the daughter of a noble family, you sure are very expressive. If Claude could read me, other people might be able to do the same. I tried to hide my embarrassment. My eyes were locked on the back of the car seat. It's awkward. <laughs> A romance novel? Hey, put that back. Claude immediately snatched the book from my hand, but it, I was faster and hid the novel between my... Between my what? Oh, behind my back. This yours? Wow. So the prince reads romance novels for fun. It's not like that at all. I was just curious. It's my first time reading such a book. <laughs> it's okay. What's there to be ashamed of? Prince Claude covered his blushing face. All right, now, put it back. Claude tried to reach the novel behind my back, seeing his hand getting closer. What was that? As I raised up the novel above my head. Let me read it for a bit. Hey. Uncautiously, I was having fun teasing Claude. His blushing face was really cute, and it made me want to tease him even more. But as I was about to tease Claude more, we arrived. Both Claude and I, were, who were moving around, immediately lost our balance. I'm very sorry, sir. Your Highness, my lady. A cat suddenly crossed our street. Cat, eh? I realized that Claude's body was already on top 
Uh oh. That's not good. But maybe it is. <laughs> um. He slowly got up, but he stopped when he realized that his face was inches away from mine. We glanced into each. We glanced in into each other in silence. The other sound I could hear were our breaths and our heartbeat. I felt that his large and firm hand landed on my thigh. I knew that I knew that staring at him for too long would be rude, but I couldn't look away. His face is so close, but why is he not moving away? Is it awkward? It's so awkward like this. I could feel Claude's movement, but instead of moving away, he moved closer to me. His hand caressed my cheek gently, and his lips were about to touch mine. Beautiful. <laughs> we're about to arrive. Claude and I were just startled by the chauffeur's voice. <laughs> oh, Claude. He's so awkward, it's funny. <laughs> Claude immediately moved away from me and I sat back and sat back to his seat. He coughed in embarrassment. No, don't be. It was an accident after all. The car in front of the Duke's house. What a tremendous house. Yeah, it does look rather pretty. I feel like I should bow in respect to this house. Steven opened the door for me. I was about to get out, but Claude stopped me. He got out of the car first and walked to my side. Allow me. I love the art in this game. The art in this game is just beautiful. Whoever made this game did a really good job. Claude reached out his hand. The wind blew gently on my hair and robe. Or his hair and robe, I don't know. The sunset, which had contrasted his silver hair and a while, robe added more, more to his attractiveness. <laughs> Her gaze is met. Right then I felt Grab his hand to get out of the car. Careful. For a moment, I forgot all of the strange things I barely understood since coming to this world. I feel like everything is going to be alright. Thank you for taking me home. I would be the... I should be the one to thank you. It's been a wonderful day. I have a feeling that you're going to surprise me a lot in the future. Perhaps. I waited until the car was out of the gate. Then I made up my mind and went inside the house. You should get changed, my lady. It's almost time for dinner. Family dress, kind of ugly. Not my style. I mean, it's it's nice, I guess. Meh. Yeah. For the character, sure, but I don't like it. <laughs> I really do like um, the character's dress later on. I like episode uh, game two. I do really like that one. This one's meh. I'll get you a warm drink. My lady, I'm glad you're safe. It seemed like Ms. Ria was the only one I could trust. 
even so, everything has changed. I'm not even a part of this world. A text. Are you home? I just arrived. Take care of your health. Don't get sick. Oh, okay, Lou. Thank you. <laughs> I'll stop by your house. There are several things I need to know about what happened on the lake. I don't know either. My character just kind of woke up here. When did I even get Lee's number? I had no idea about the life on this of this duke's daughter. It's all that cat's fault. Is there any way to see it and demand an explanation? Probably not. Maybe. You'll see. What am I supposed to do? Miss Rita brought me something to drink and she started tidying my clothes. Suddenly, I smelled something familiar. I recognized it as Noah's scent. What? The cat didn't say I would be able to see Noah again. The sense of smell has never been stronger. I ran towards the door. Noah? It must be Noah. Much older Noah. It's been a while. Huh? What? Wait, what? Why are you spacing out? You. You're not Noah. Not Noah. This is, oh yeah, you don't want to... This is a survey. Surveys are boring. Pretty. There's the two princes. <laughs> well, that's episode two. Anytime it's gaming time. Until next time, guys. This is Falcons Gaming signing out. Bye, guys. That was really fun. I do love this game. This is one of my. I think it's like on top tier with Duskwood. Like, I think they're tying for first place. Like, Dangerous Fellows is kind of like third, fourth, but this game, amazing. <laughs> well, anytime it's gaming time. Until next time. Guys. Give me. Send it out. Bye guys.